Now the demand for electricity varies through each day and through the year between summer and winter. And the reason for this is, for example, in winter, pe more people use electric fires to keep warm, um, whereas in the day, let's say at night, we're all asleep, we don't use electrical appliances, whereas come morning, we all switch on our kettles. And so the electrical power that's required to be generated by the power stations needs to, uh, we have a, a higher demand in the morning. Now, to cope with this fluctuation in demand, we first of all use nuclear, nuclear, oil-fired and coal-fired power stations. And these provide a constant output of electricity called the base, the base load demand. And if we look on our graph here of of electrical power demand through time in the day, going from the early hours of the morning through to lunchtime and then back to the early hours of the morning again, we can see that uh, the dotted line here is the base load demand. Base load. And that's supplied, as I say, by nuclear oil and coal because these three methods of generating electricity have quite long start up times. So, long start-up times, start-up times. It's quite complicated to bring them online and take them offline quickly. So we just leave them running uh, at a, to give a constant output. So that begs the question, what measures are taken when demand is lower or higher than this base load? So, for example, when we're all asleep, what happens to this excess energy that we're generating from the nuclear, oil and coal-fired power stations? And, and what do we do in the peak times, in the morning when people turn on their kettles, or at evening when the, uh, the, the stove or the cooker goes on? Well, there are two things. First of all, we can use the excess energy. So this excess energy here, excess power supply, in pumped storage, pumped storage schemes. Uh, this basically pumps water up um, in this time to high reservoirs, and so effectively storing that energy as gravitational potential energy. And then when the peaks come along in the day, we can then let that water out. It comes downhill, it turns turbines, and generates electricity. So that's one thing we can do in this period um, of excess power. The other thing we can do is we can bring online and offline gas-fired power stations. Power stations. And gas-fired power station stations are they have a, a very quick start-up time. Start-up time. So it's easy to bring them online and offline to get them generating or just to shut them down um, as needed as the demand in the day goes up and down. So there we are. There's two measures for uh, coping with the demand curve. Uh, remember the, the word baseload and that uh, the demand curve varies during the day and during the year.